Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fagor here to continue my Fagor in Order, Lost Belt number two, Let's Plays. Might be the final part, there might be a part of this, it depends on how this all goes. So, we boss fighting, and we have to use Sigurd. Uh, yeah. So this is gonna be fun, probably not gonna go the way I want it to, that's okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's just see how this is gonna go. Go! Okay, let's see what happens here. Section 16. Beyond the gaze. The gaze of what? I don't know. The gaze of Cert? Probably. Or Certer, however the fuck you say it. Well. Go forth, valiant heroes. My runes shall give you invisible wings with which to fly. Take to the skies, defeat the great destroyer, and extinguish his flames. One of my villages makes use of the Earth's ley lines in order to maintain a hostile, hospital, hostile, hospitable environment. There is little mana left in these lands that to assert last assault, but what is there should still prove you helpful. His choice to attack this land will still will be his undoing. Um, I shall draw upon the ley lines' power and use it to bless you uh, with my protection. The world shall finally have its revenge for what he did during Ragnarok. Hmm, so that's why you're on the ground too, huh? I can see the sense in that. But what were you thinking? Asking me to help with support Magecraft? Roots don't come easy to the spirit origin, you know. Now, now, do not be like that, Freja. Freja. You should be honored by this chance to touch the primordial roots bestowed upon me by Odin himself. Oh, fine. I'll back you up with low he's Magecraft. Just don't expect any miracle or anything. Mash, Sarah, Sigurd, Brynhild. I've got a good view of everything from up here in the border. Or wherever she said. So far, Search has yet to do much. Could start attacking him until you're within at least 100 meters. Got that? Speed is of the essence. You need to take out his spirit core before he has time to regenerate. Got it. Understood. Maintaining flight speed of 200 kilometers per hour. We should reach the target soon. So, so um, how's Ophelia doing? Ash Curialite, Ophelia gave me a message for you. She says she's sorry she can't be there fighting beside you, and that she's praying for your victory, so at least she's alive. That is all. Understood. Please tell her I hope we can talk again after the battle. I will. Thank you. Um, let's do this as quickly as we can. Thank you, Master. I'm going to increase our speed. Please hold on tight. Oh boy. We've reached our destination. We are now approximately 100 meters away from search. Oh boy. How impudent. How annoying. Fragile tools of proper human history. Fragile fools or tools? Fools. Okay, I read that wrong. <laughs> Seeing you buzz about like a pest displeases me. Clearly, I must remind you of your place. Human, heroic spirit. You're all merely fuel for my fire. Be wary, my love. Search is about to unleash his flames upon us. I know. I will simply have to meet him with the power of the true sun. Demonic sword released. Demon's demonic sword complete. Cert, you have made yourself home in my soul, but you were unable to properly wield Graham. Now let me show you its true power. The fact that I remain under Odin's protection means that the gods' love endures. Once I have cast this blade, you will know why that and means the one who the one to bring about disaster. My ultimate technique is ready. Um Demonic Sword of the Sun. 
Now it's time for you to wreck, wreak destruction. I. That word. Oh boyo. Grah! Ophelia! Cert, you would destroy the world merely to satiate your tremendous greed? Then you are an evil dragon. You may not have wings, but you have come Fafnir, nonetheless. You are the embodiment of greed and evil. And so my blade will strike you dead in a single blow. For I am a hero who made his mark on humanity by slaying a dragon. Rah! Your demonic sword cannot hope to. I just got a message from Ophelia. She says, Cert, connection to the Tree of Indians has been severed. What's more, we got confirmation he dropped the paper moon where, where, when his head was destroyed. Now's our chance to retrieve it. Hurry, we, we won't get another. I trust you can hear me, proud warriors. Do not give Cert the time to regenerate. I expect we have no more than two minutes before his, he begins rebuilding his form at an alarming race, pace. So this re regeneration occurs automatically in response to his spirit core being threatened. I see. Scott Scotty certainly does know him well. Very well. You heard her majesty. Hit him with everything you've got. Got it. It shall be done. It's all up to you now, Miss Kyrielite. Miss Sarah. Hordenax maximum output. Full functionality released. Readying bunker bolt for maximum output strikes. Master. Mash Kyrielite good to go. Um. <laughs> Ooh la la. This is it. Don't hold anything back. Understood. Initiating combat. Okay. Let's see how this is going to go. Probably command spell it. Okay. Hello. Okay. <laughs> well. This will be fun. Am I fun? I mean, not really that fun. We are going to... Go ahead and do her in Just immediately. Get it out of the way. Go Artoria in a swimsuit. Then this god to the pool. <laughs> or to the ocean. I don't know. Not bad. Okay. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. What did you do? Increased damage against dealt against divine. Okay, whatever. Um, we're gonna do this now. Oh wow, it didn't do a damn thing. Well, that's okay, I guess. Well, never mind when it comes to Waver's thing helping out. Oh! That's not good. I didn't know that. Well, fuck you two. Oh boy. This music's very nice. It's very epic. Very epic music. Very epic music. That didn't work at all. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Please, thank you for the heals. Very much appreciate it. Oh, 
Yikes. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah. Big yikes there. My god. Oh boy. It's like Merlin and Wave are gonna kick it. Very close to kicking it. Um... Okay. Um Let's do this. Okay. Well, that didn't go the way I wanted it to. Um Maybe this will help. I don't know if it still has that thing up or not. About to find out. Okay. <laughs> oh well. Close, but. Please don't kill Artoria. I don't. The other two are definitely gonna die. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, I know. I know. You big strong boy. I understand. Okay, let us do this. Okay, cool. Oh, great. Okay. You get stop. It'd be so. And, uh, that's. Yeah. That's not good. Um. Well, we'll do all we can. We'll do everything we can here. Which isn't a lot. It's okay, though. This is fine. It's not really that fine. <laughs> Probably have to come and spell it, which really sucks. There goes Kualta. Are you gonna kill him again? Yep. Well, <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, there's no way. Absolutely no oh, way. Okay. <laughs> Without command spelling it, which sucks. But... If only. Sucks because he's so on the ropes. And they're dead. <laughs> oh, that sucks ass, but oh well. This is gonna be one NP and he's done, you know? But I'll take advantage of it. Use all that I can to make this fucking hurt. I'm gonna make it hurt. Make it hurt. Kill him. Fuck him. How dare. How dare. You die, die. <laughs> bye bye. We beat you. Hell yeah. Three rings. Alright. Well, that was Ease Clap. <laughs> By Ease Clap, I mean. It's Daijobu. It's fine. This is fine. How? How could I? Ophelia, Ophelia, Ophelia! Ugh. Am I truly going to die by human- yes. 
How can mere humans kill fire? Who? 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 Who dares to attempt to extinguish my flames? It's you. You're the key. Master of Chaldea. <laughs> Hi. But if I must fall, I shall take you with me. Uh-oh. No. You will not. No, 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 no! You may have cut off my arm, but it's too late. I've already inscribed a death rune upon her. I'm fucked. Senpai! Die, Master of Chaldea. Uh. Close your eyes and use a command spell. <laughs> As a mystic... As a mystic from the age of gods, the death rune's effects are absolute. Death will come well before you can even draw upon your magical energy. Strength will immediately fade from your body. And then, a fall. But you will not collide with the ground. No, no your body will catch fire and burn to ash. By the time you reach the ground, there will be nothing left of you. That mash girl will crouch your name, her shield falling from her grasp in shock, but you will already be gone. I think this is him talking. That white beast foe will yelp from his spot on the ground, and then it will all be over. Ah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Totally fine. I'm alive, yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. I'm alive, yeah, totally. <laughs> Master! 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 Yes. Yes, that's what I like to hear. Yes, life does have worth. He screams of one crying out in despair. That is life's one's redeeming quality. Did you really think I would fall alone? If I must die, I'll bring all of humanity down with me. Ophelia. Oh no, you don't. You will not take anyone with you. What is it you see, sir? What? What a pleasant dream you appear to be having. I pity you, King of Giants. What's going on? As soon as Sutter pointed his fingers toward Master. Um, it was like he just froze in place. Yeah, I'm fine. Wait, I've seen this sort of thing before. Brynhild must have used her reality distortion rune. Sutter is no longer strong enough to resist my runes. He must be having a lovely dream indeed. No doubt it was a dream of burning someone or something to cinders. Hild. It is time to end this. Yes, my love. Let's go. Well, you won't die today. Grah! This, this can't be how I die. I was, I was going to destroy this entire world. Ophelia! You die today. Dead then. Die, 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 die. His death cries ring out. The fiery king of giants crumbles away under many watchful eyes. One set belongs to the shield-bearing girl. Another to the girl with red hair. Eh, it's orange, but okay. Yet another belongs to the dragon slayer with the demonic sword. Another still to the eldest Valkyrie. They watch in silence, floating 500 meters above the ground, the howling wind whipping around them. And then, a few seconds later, the King of Giants, along with his flaming sword, are gone. Not a trace remains. Awesome! Yay, we did it. I had lost all hope. 
I tried rebelling against my fate. I failed to trigger the end time as I was meant to. Now, all I could do was settle, seethe, waiting for my world to be pruned away. And then, one day, she found me. I am... me. A woman who is supposed to die in the world consumed by flame. She saw me, like no one else had. Who are you? Maybe it was a no more than coincidence. Maybe she was frightened of my destructive flames. Well, that's not how the legend goes. According to myth, your flames consume the Norse Age of Gods, but it's followed by the Age of Humanity. But that was the first time something unexpected had happened in my life. Something that wasn't part of my fate. It was a genuine surprise. I see. You failed too. Ophelia. Such a pitiful, foolish woman. So your world's ending too. The woman who taught me what it was to be surprised when I had no future. The woman who found me. The only one who ever spoke to me through my smoldering flames. Ah, I wish there was something I could do for you. But I'm nothing more than fire and destruction. So then, how? Then you and I have that in common. How can I ever repay you? It was nice to meet you, Fiery King of Giants. But now, I guess this is goodbye. Uh, I kind of, I do kind of feel bad for him. Uh, I kind of get it, but I'm like, eh, you know. It's like, I kind of feel bad, but I'm also like, eh, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, now what? We done? Ah, oh, they're gonna go away. Bye. Love y'all. The time has come, my love. Indeed. Our magical energy is all but spent. Seems this is as far as we go. Sigurd, Brynhild, you're both burning. Um, watch them until the very end. We reached deep into Surt's core during our attack. We knew both. We knew doing so would burn us to ash. You need not concern yourselves with us. I'm sorry for dragging you into this, Brynhild, my love. Not at all, Sigurd. I only did what I was always meant to do. I am overjoyed. Never could I have imagined an opportunity to wield my spear at your side. Oh, it's so cute. I can ask for anything more. It's like a dream come true. A dream I never dared to let myself even hope for. I'm ready to fall for your, to your spear at any time. Should we ever meet again, do not hesitate to kill me. If that is how you express your love, then I shall survive. And prove I love you all the same. All right. Aw. Oh. Sarah? Mash? This is where I must say goodbye. Thank you for bringing me with you on this wonderful journey. If I should ever see you two again, I hope I will be able to help you once more. Bye. I always get a little teary-eyed when the servants disappear like this. The next time we meet, I hope I will be able to be of help from you from the start. Help to you from the start, but... Um, I'm sure we'll see both of you again someday. Pieces, deuces, love y'all. Y'all were great. <laughs> oh, I always get teary-eyed when that happens. Sister. Yeah, your sister is gone now. Uh. We are returning to base. S so, um, can I ask where Ophelia is? She's in the infirmary. My technical advisor and this lost but's queen are treating her as we speak. Thank you. And she's gone. <laughs> Serious light. The most powerful ability given to the cryptors, it is their trump card. 
but the cost of using it, it... Ah, she's still gonna die! The cost of using it is, it is their life, I think. And there's nothing that can be done to... Fuck! It matters not how many slaves or medicines are administered, or how effective a mystico may be at healing. Not even the primordial runes can help. If one makes it full, an un un adulterated use of their power, as Brynhild did, it may be possible to gain a reprieve. But even that could buy her no more than a few minutes at best. Unfortunately, that means... Oh, God. Oh, I don't want to watch this happen. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, God. Okay. Mash. Mash. I'm here, Ophelia. We... We destroyed Cert. It... It was all thanks to... Oh, my God. I don't want to watch this happen. <laughs> You're amazing, Mash. You actually defeated that thing. Oh, God. Oh, I don't want to watch this happen. Jesus. I guess I can't blame Kodak for losing to you anymore. Neither of us... Oh, I don't want to watch this happen. Jesus. Had a chance. I wish I could see you grow even more. But I can't. I'm sorry, Mash. I can't betray Lord Kishitara. And I don't want to. That's, that's all. Hey, Mash. You know what? I I may not compare to Brynhild and her love for Sigurd. But for me and Lord Kishitara, I know. I admit I'm not familiar with exactly what it is, but whenever you stare at him, it sense it was with the same sort of romantic feelings I've seen and read about so much. So much about, whatever. Oh, it was? That's strange. I didn't think that was how I felt. I'm a mage through and through. Romance has never even crossed my mind. And I guess mages do fall in love too. There's nothing wrong with that. At least, that's what I think. I see. Yes, you may be right. I guess you see a lot more than I ever did, Mash. You've grown up so beautifully. I'm so happy to see that. Seeing you trapped in Chaldea, looking out the window at the icy wasteland, was like looking at myself. Though, of course, I doubt you're pleased by the comparison to me back when I lived in fear. I always <sighs> want to talk. Fuck. Jesus. Fuck. Please keep going. Keep moving forward, Mesh Light. Yes, I will, Ophelia. I promise we won't stop for anything. I'm sure we'll find a way to protect humanity, to survive and to save the world. Yes. You all just might be able to do that. Though I have to admit, I have mixed feelings about that. Ugh. Oh, right. If you happen to see Napoleon again, I doubt he'll still remember me, but... Tell him I said thank you. Tell him... <laughs> I refuse to marry him. But the rainbow was beautiful. Please. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Well, this is... I can't even read hardly anymore, Jesus. Well, this is a fine pickle. So, you don't believe me, since I'm- My nose is all stuffed up, it's hard to read about my proposal, huh? You don't believe it was love at first sight. Alright then, how about this, Cryptor? Before the spirit origin time is up, 
I'm going to give you the best present you'll ever get. Haha. <laughs> Hope you like surprises, ma chere. No, thank you. I'll pass. Besides, aren't you already married? Ah, oh, Jesus. Ugh. Fucking hell. Ugh. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, Lord have mercy. I cannot deal with this. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, that's fine. Okay. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh, lordy. Go beyond the twilight. Oh, I hated that. That was not fun. Uh, Jesus Christ. And so, the Scandinavian lost pill was saved. Shadow Border drove off into the sunset, and they all lived happily ever- Not exactly. It would be- Yeah, I was about to say. Um, it would be sure nice if that's how it went. Wouldn't it? Nothing is ever so easy, though. Um, excuse me. You're not from this village, are you? I guess it's nice to meet you. Oh, yes, likewise. That's right. I came from outside the big gate. But don't worry. There's no way the giants are getting in here. Oh, yes, I know that. You wouldn't happen to be friends with Lady Mash and Miss Sarah, Mr. Napoleon, and the beautiful envoy, would you? If you are, that makes you my friend, too. Is that how that works? Then yes, I guess that does make us friends. It's nice of you to say that, but you should step back a bit before you get hurt. Huh? In fact, you should go back inside and tell the others to do the same. Uh, okay. Go on, hurry. Uh, all right, but what about you? I'll be fine. No, go, quickly. Okay. Oh my god. Phew. There we go. Now then, time for a little magecraft camouflage. On what? Oh. Oh! <laughs> a great tree of emptiness, stretching towards space. So, it alters its existence again. Hmm. Or maybe it's more like it was re replanted. I guess Sir didn't swallow the entire tree. Looks like he left most of its roots in the ground. And then, since the trunk wasn't completely cut down either... We still got shit to do. Correct. That tree of emptiness must have connected its roots via a spatial distortion within Sir's body. How bizarre. Even I would struggle to accomplish such a thing. Yet, with this massive tree... It is but one more means to ensure its survival. I wonder, just where do these tree of emptinesses come from? Have you not thought the same, Chaldeans of proper human history? We have. There's still so much we don't know about them. I guess that's true for you too, Skahawk Scotty. You grew it despite not knowing, even knowing what it really was. Also, you could cover cover a world without humanity. What of it? I would do whatever I must to protect my world. That should be abundantly clear by now. The same is true of you as well, Chaldeans of proper human history. Myself. Oh, no. I have always taken responsibility for deciding who to love. And who to kill. Um, it's a spirit origin ascension. N no, it's not that. She isn't a servant, so her body isn't made out of ether. That means... It's an ascension of her very existence. So even the heroic spirit enchant uh, enhancement method Chaldea's summoning system employs is another tool she can wield freely. They certainly do not exaggerate when they say gods are to be feared. <laughs> feared, you say? Now that you defeated the fiery king of giants, I must see that you are. I must see you as the true monsters, Chaldeans. 
Really? It looks to me like we had to scrounge together every last bit of help we could find. And even then, only just barely eked out a victory. But I guess that's not how you saw it, Cox, Scotty. Da Vinci is right. We never could have hoped to defeat Sir Dollar. Exactly. That is exactly what is so frightening. You walked a razor's edge to accomplish the impossible without even making an ally of the counterforce. And again, perhaps that is due to your you your forming so many bonds here. Despite opportunities to do so in my land being so thin on the ground. Okay. Your Majesty. Silence. Do not weaken my resolve. Wherever you speak, you invoke images of proper human history's myths. But there are no such myths here. I have no such storied past. This is the only world where my Scandinavian exists. I'm sure you cannot think of it as home. If you were to take a residence here, then I could continue to love you as your god, your queen. And your mother. But that can never be. You will no doubt continue your journey. You always have, and you always will. You will destroy the lost belts in order to restore your own world. So, say no more. It would make no difference. At least allow me one last word, Your Majesty. Everything you say is correct. You are walking the path you must follow, just as we are. I only wish it didn't have to come to this, that we might have walked together, rather than separately. Indeed, but that can never be. Or Deline. Oh boy, we're gonna fight both of you, aren't we? You called my goddess and protector. What will you do? You are free to choose whichever side you prefer. I will follow my mind wherever it takes me. This is Brynhild, Thrud, Hildur. And now you have said to. You are Skahak Skadi, the one who inherited this land from my father. I would fight by your side by, of my own free will. What is your command? Prepare for battle. We will protect this tree with our lives. Understood. Do you hear that, Chaldea? Can you hear the cries of those birds flapping their wings overhead? Should you defeat me and cut down the tree, I shall tell you what they truly are. Okay. Been curious about that. I don't suppose there's any way we can avoid this battle. Nope, not a chance. And this won't be the last time this sort of thing happens. It's just like she said. We have to take responsibility for what we're doing. You understand that, right, Mash? Sarah? Um, yeah, I knew that would I knew that going in. Indeed. Let me ask you this. How many humans li how many live in proper human in your proper human history? Several million? Tens of million? It's, uh hundreds? And again, I suppose if one includes the lives of flora and fauna, they would be innumerable. I see. So that is the responsibility you shoulder as to seek the end of my lost belt. Hmm. Huh? Very well. And for the love I bear for my 10,000 subjects, I would take those millions, billions, that infamily vast number of lives with my own hands. I will not let this miracle wither away. Miracle, I see. So that's how you think of this land. For you, this lost belt, in the approximately 3,000 years, it has known peace. It's truly a miracle, isn't it? Your Majesty. Then you know. You've known all along. You are fully aware that this, lo that, that this lost belt's existence is both abnormal and unnatural. What's more, you knew so well before the cry cri crypter came along and informed you of proper human history. You knew? Even before you knew about proper human history? 
<laughs> Seems like I cannot put anything past you, wise sage. Perhaps those piercing eyes of yours, in fact, surpass Odin's. Mystic eyes? Um, perchance? No, that is not it. They merely reflect your wisdom born of human's history's cum cumulative accomplishments. Baby. Yes, you are right. I knew everything. Okay. Good to know. It was supposed to be pruned away. My Scandinavia. My world. The path my people have walked was destined to disappear from human history. We were not to perish in Ragnarok gone mad. We had already survived those days of flame. Those days may have ended once the gods had sacrificed themselves to transfer Surt or, or Surt into the false sun. But we precious few lives that remained found ourselves in a world that had lost far too much. Even so, we did our best with what we had. After much struggle and suffering, we began to build a new life. And then, human history, humanity, erased us. It had all been for nothing. My love, my hope, my wishes, my dreams, all of them were gone. All in less than half a year after Surt had been sealed away, and his, bro his broken Ragnarok stopped. Humanity decided my land where humans and gods lived together did not deserve to exist. As far as human history was concerned, the path we were taking after surviving the flames was evil. But then, something unexpected happened. An impossible 3,000 years came and went. I do not know whether the Tree of Emptiness was responsible for that paradox, that miracle. But what I do know is that my land was reborn on this planet in the modern day. It was a feat greater than any authority could accomplish. A miracle neither I nor Odin could, o Orden? Odin could achieve. And so I cannot. I will not let that miracle fade away. If I must take unfathomable numbers of lives to preserve it, then so be it. I shall consider each and every one of one my sworn enemy. Your Majesty. Silence. No more talk. Consider this lemon of my declaration of war. Three thousand years, and I still remain powerless to support more villages beyond those created in the first six months. All this time, I still have only saved a hundred villages, mere ten thousand humans. I cannot even let any of them live to old age. For my love and snow can only extend my authority to the point before the first signs of spring arrive. Haha, <laughs> 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 indeed. That archer spoke the truth. This lost belt has no future, no tomorrow. Though it may be peaceful, free conflict free of conflict and evil. It will never be any more than that. There's no power to change, to develop. No doubt this pathetic state of affairs will continue for thousands upon thousands of years. <sighs> My love, it's not enough. Spring will never come. Life will never flourish. And I will not give up. I will never simply resign myself to this fate. For three millennia, I've devoted my power to suppressing Surtur's fires. But now, now that Surtur is gone from this lost belt, my power should suffice to bring hope to my land, so I withdraw my love and instead offer you death. Well, sucks to suck, I guess. Fo fo! If you would save your humanity, then kill me. Kill me and cast aside. Cast us aside. Callings of proper human history. Um. Uh, I don't want to defeat you, but I will. Eh. Go. <laughs> Raising Ortonex output. Switching to combat mode. Bunker bolt standing by. Preparing to engage this Lost Belt's king, Scott Scotty. Commencing demolition, demolition of the tree of emptiness. Okay. Uh. Alright. Well, this will be fun. Oh, she's... She said, uh, shall I love you or shall I kill you, basically. Okay, then. 
That's a thing. Um... Her MP doesn't do shit, so it doesn't matter. Um... <laughs> we know that for a fact. That's a good thing that we know. <laughs> At least we know her MP isn't a damage dealing one. That's the good thing. So she can pop it all she wants. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. It's fine. Okay. I'm gonna do that because, yeah. Need it. Most likely. Alright. Okay, could you not? It's like, could you not? Okay. Close, but not quite. Scotty. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. Um, that's a lot. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. My god. Doing Aussie for a loop there. Like, Jesus. Okay. We should be okay. Like, we should be okay, but I'm a little scared. Okay, cool. So, this is what we're gonna do. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna hope that she can kill her and then Ozzy can move on to hopefully. That's the hope. We'll find out. If not, then uh, oops. <laughs> Please kill. If not, I guess it's okay, but I don't think she's gonna be able to. Oh, she did, thank god. Fuck yeah. Okay. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. That's so good. That's very, very good. That helps us a lot. Okay, well, that's not helpful. <laughs> okay, well, I literally can't do anything, so... It's like, thanks, I can't do anything. <laughs> um... It's like, I can't do anything, game. Thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> Oof. Okay, well... <laughs> not great, but... Okay. Do this. Okay. 
Oh, good. Okay. Good, good, good. Very, very good. That was kind of a waste, but alright. For her, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a little thing up on her, but that's okay. Okay, uh huh. Not a fan of that. Okay. Let's. We should be okay. Okay, well, you asked for it. It's like, you asked for this. You're gonna die. Hopefully. At least I hope. Ozzy, you can do this. Please, Ozzy. <laughs> Come on, Ozzy. You can do it. Gambate. Okay. We're close. Okay, we're good. We should be okay. We should be fine. I hope. Uh. We should be okay. Hopefully. Yeah, we're good. Thank you. Bye bye. Thanks for the fun fight, though, but bye bye. Okay. Well, not much left, I think, in this last belt. Are we gonna get some more ducking? Probably. Because she said if. One, two, three. Hey everyone, this is me, the Talk Fangirl, to the uh, Lost Belt 2 Let's Plays. I don't know if this is being continued on for the last part. Look, I don't know what future edit me, editor me decides to do. Doesn't matter. We're here to see the last part of this and be done. So, let's go. This is how we're gonna do it, and we're just gonna jump into this. If you guys like supporting me, support the channel. Oh, it's just a fight right away? Okay, uh, there's a coffee, Patreon, link in the description. Patreon, any tier you donate to is gonna get you access to my Discord server. Yeah, all that stuff, so just check it out. It's got some nice rewards, I'd say, for people who like gotcha. So, check it out. I'm vibing with the music. Vibing. Oh, it's your big boy. I'm vibing. Let's vibe. Let's turn this shit up. Vibe Let's go! Let's go! Vibe with this shit. All the vibing. Let's check his, uh, but what's he got? Apply HP to Christian Okay. I think that's fine. This music's so vibing though. <laughs> Why are the pillar fights have vibing music? That's what I wanna know. Like seriously why? That's what I wanna know. Like it's good. It's like that's great, love that. But like why is it always vibing? Why is it such a vibe? <laughs> Why so bad? Let's see what this tree is gonna do. Okay. Okay. Okay, tree, calm down. Tree. Calm down. My God. Calm down, tree. Calm down. <laughs> it's like tree. Calm down. You're okay. <laughs> You're not okay. We're gonna obliterate you, but <laughs> we will. Oh, okay. That's weird. <laughs> the cut off there of the tree. I'm just bad with the music. It's just good. It's like bad music. 
We stand vibing music. Okay. Um, whatever. I guess. <laughs> I guess we get MP pop. Because why not? Next turn. I should have done it last turn. That's fine. This is fine. It's like, this is fine. Can you not, bro? Okay. Um. <laughs> we'll do that. Why not? <laughs> it's like, why not? <laughs> Ozzy's got this in the back. <laughs> He's in before. Like, we've got this. Okay, well, <laughs> that was a little less than I thought would happen, but it's okay. Okay, if you could stop. Um, okay, calm down, tree. My goodness. Someone's at the door. I can hear my dog. No clue if y'all can hear it, but. Okay, um. Okay. Do that. そこは壁もなく城もなく、ミスが始まりの空。魂のありかを見せようか。We oh can do this. We kept him. Morai. to death. Okay. Nice soon, waiver, because I gave you that evade. <laughs> Do that. Come on, <laughs> bruh. This is Yikes. Okay, wow. Just wow. Just a big old wow. Okay, what we gonna do? That. What we gonna do? This. <laughs> I'm like, how are we gonna do this? How do we want to do this? Coolio, been stunned. That's also nice. Please, come on. Thank you. Like break it, please. Oh my God, it's like, just break the damn bar, please. Okay. Can we do all that. Okay, cool. Now. Do this. <laughs> Okay. Aussie time. Aussie kick ass time. Aussie kicking ass time. That's what we're doing. Aussie kick ass time. Nice suit, nice suit. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know if he can. Oh, he can! Oh, he can! Oh, he can! This is why. This is why I love Ozzy. I'd grail him, but I'm saving my grails for Arjuna Altar. But thank you, Ozzy. Thank you so much. I'll give you anything else besides a grail. Explain the birds, please. Well done. To think I would lose so decisively. I cannot even protect or glean. Or glean, whatever the fuck. Ah, I knew it. I was far too weak to serve as queen. I don't understand. Why didn't you tell us you had, bar had barely recovered any magical energy after our battle with Cert? Why did you fight us while you were so weakened and were completely healed? 
and we were completely healed. What about the death rune? You could have inscribed the same spell into us that Surt used, but... My pride would not permit it. I'm oblig... Ob obligata... Ob whatever, to protect this land and all the lives that dwell within. I must heal the wounds Surt inflicted upon this land. I must repair the village he destroyed and treat those whom he injured. I never had much magical energy to spare. For my battle with you. For my battle with you. <laughs> Explain the birds. Ah, there they are. Look up at the sky, and I shall tell you those birds' names. They are the holy ravens who so serve Odin. Odin's familiars? Then they must be the Hyungin and Moonin, two of the greatest familiars to ever exist! There's legendary divine beasts named after the thought and memory who were said to look upon the whole world every morning. Cursed Odin. He may be, have kept his... Uh, he may have kept giving me chances right to the end. But it seems he, he had the birds to guide all of you as well. <laughs> How very like him. He never was willing to guide me. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Whatever. We did it. <laughs> and then we're done. Let's fucking go. And we die. Ah, feels good to do a fight like that, man. Just to completely obliterate something. Feels good, man. <sighs> Alright. Okay. The tree of emptiness began to collapse. Ordinarily, it would not have fallen so easily. In fact, it should have been impossible to destroy without the help of a particular external factor. At least, that was the Queen's understanding. And yet, here it was, falling apart, vanishing into very thin air. Perhaps it had grown brittle by virtue of Surt having assimilated it. Whatever the reason may be, the Tree of Emptiness was di disappearing. The world is going to show oh. Soon, this lost belt will cease to be, even if no one would be present to see it happen. Most of the queen's spells hiding the tree were still in effect. No human would see its destruction. But they would s hear a tremendous sound split the air. They would feel a sudden tremor shaking all of Scandinavia. The cap... something. The cap... Whatever, of a tower colossus crumbling to the ground, the shaking at the loss of the very foundations of the world. Only those who survived Surt's destruction were privy to these awful, these awful phenomena. The animals who lived in the rifts between the fire and ice, the giants who still remain, and the roughly ten thousand humans, uh, ten thousand humans, all closed their eyes and felt the sensations wash over them. The strange sound of shaking must be a sign that something is about to happen, but what could it be? Allow me to offer you one last gift, Chaldeans. I shall tell you the name of the tree of emptiness that was meant to take root in my lost belt. It is called Sombrero. What? <laughs> As one who lived through the Age of Gods, that name means nothing to me. But perhaps it would mean something to you, stargazers of proper human history. Sombrero? Like the Spanish hat? What? <laughs> the fuck? Now go, Chaldeans. As you've defeated us. You must cross the ocean of dread dead ice and flame, and the countless corpses of our hopes and dreams. And be on your way. Alright, bye. Oh, we didn't get to say bye to Gerda. Damn. Sad. Oh, wait. Okay, so I'm not sure what's going on, but I think uh, we'll all do just what we're told. You see, this morning, an envoy gave us a message from the goddess. She said we should all go back to our homes and go to sleep, even though it's not nighttime. Ugh. And once we do, we'll never... Oh. Oh, I don't like it. She said not to be afraid, 
It's just that what we have to do to fix all the damage that huge giant caused. And if the goddess said so, it must be true. Still, when I think about Lady Mash, and Miss Sarah, and Mr. Napoleon, and the beautiful envoy, and Mr. Chubb, and Foe, and how... Well, once I fall asleep, I'll never get to see them again, right? Oh, God. Thinking about that makes me... Makes you... Makes me... I bet the word's sad. I don't know. It's so strange. I don't know what to call it. It's like there's something squeezing my heart and it makes me want to cry. Isn't that weird? I'm not even hurt anywhere. Oh, poor baby. <sighs> poor Gerd. <laughs> Fuck. God. Ah. That's sad. There you go. There they go. Goodbye, Shadow Border. Safe travels. My fortune is kind wherever you go. I'm a pseudo-servant using a human body as a host. I shouldn't be able to disappear when this last belt goes away. I guess this is stepmother's doing. How strange. I already miss her a bit. Even though she's not my real mother. Maybe Freja's influence. And again, she wasn't a bad person. I wish I could have talked with her a little more. Perhaps that's why I miss her. Yeah, that must be it. All of you Valkyries did great delivering Stepmother's last commandment. C commandment. Thanks for all your help. I know your master is gone, but I hope you can rest easy now. See you later. Okay. The aftermath of everything here. <sighs> a newly ordained day, a newly ordained time. After the envoy had delivered the goddess's newest commandment, quite quiet spread throughout the settlement. Nobody was to go outside. Everyone was to stay in their homes and beds. They were told to not even open their windows. Make your bedroom as dark as possible. And close your eyes. Close your eyes and go to sleep. It was the strangest commandment anyone had ever heard. And most people went along with it, since it was the word of the goddess. In fact, here in Village 23, there was only one person not sleeping peacefully inside her home. Gerda? She wondered what might happen to her for not obeying that commandment. Would she be cast outside the village? Um, squashed by giants? She certainly didn't want that. Still, she couldn't help it. She wasn't able to fall asleep, and she couldn't shake the strange and growing sense of foreboding from her thoughts. So she decided to go outside. Her heart started to pound with tre trepidation. What if? What if she'd get to see her new friends again? With high hopes, the girl opened her door and stepped outside. Huh? There was no one there. Her new friends, who had survived the wilds outside the village and even battled envoys, were not present. There was no one, anywhere. She was crestfallen as she thought back to her new friends. She remembered their animal companion. That cute, fluffy creature that used to hop around everywhere it went. Was it a dog? A horse? It's too small to be a horse! It wasn't much, but thinking about it helped cheer her up. So she decided to try copying it, to hop around the way it used to- Oh my god, Gerda. And... Hop! She jumped lightly towards the sky, at the same moment. A gust of wind blew through the village, a wa warm and gentle as a spring breeze- it may have been the same wind blowing across the world's bleached landscape, or it may have been a wind that used to travel throughout proper human history. And then, 
Girl was gone. Oh god, the fuck is that? She vanished as though carried off by that wind before her feet could even touch the ground. Fuck, that's sad. The blink of an eye. She was somewhere far, far away, along with the rest of that Sc Scandinavia. All that remained in the wind was her smile. Oh, God. Oh, this game's gonna make me cry again. Can you not? Jesus. Well, that's it. <sighs> Cosmos denial. Fuck, that was sad. Damn, man. Alright, that's the end of the Lost Belt. We did it. Oh, never mind. Sometime in 2017. Um. I just wanted to introduce myself again. Your name's Smash Curialite, right? Fuck, don't. Don't do this to me. Sorry to just barge in on you like this, but we never really got a chance to talk during the meeting. That's alright. It's nice to meet you. You too. My name's Ophelia. I remember. You're from the Clock Tower's Evocation Department. Yes, that's my official department anyway. I guess it would be weird to say I'm kind of relieved, huh? Huh? I mean, there just aren't many women on Team A, right? I don't have a problem with men or anything. But it's still a little nerve-wracking to suddenly be surrounded by them when you're eating lunch. I... See? I'm sorry. I guess I rambled a little bit there, didn't I? Would you, um... Would you like to eat with us? Oh, and by us, I mean me and Pepe. Sure, if you don't mind my being there, I'd love to join you. Aw, that's cute. Aw, babies. Is there more? No, there's more. Okay, I thought so. I was like, there's gotta be more, right? We're just about to leave Scandinavia behind entirely. Looking at our current, current coordinates, we just passed the something of the West Scandinavian Peninsula. There should only be about 20 kilometers until we reach the North Sea. You sure about this? I'm still not seeing any water at all. Um. Okay. Okay. Dot, dot, dots. <laughs> Gah, why are you all gonna be such downers? I've seen more cheer to funeral. Look, I know how you all feel, okay? I'm just bottoms the rest of you. Now that doesn't change the fact that someone's still gotta step up and steer this thing. Now come on, director. Are we going to the North Sea or not? Uh, right, the North Sea. Yes, that will do. <sighs> I hate to leave it like this again. But what could I have said, even if I had seen her before we left? I could have possibly wished her a long, happy life, but still, as an adult, I can't help but feel I should have said something to her. Those flowers she gave me, her entire village, they're all going to disappear, just like Russia, aren't they? Yes, they are. As unfortunate as it is. It is true. We know that now this is what it is to fight these lost belts. They are hypothetical worlds, worlds that came to sudden ends after human history deemed them unnecessary. Neither their inhabitants nor the civilizations did anything wrong. The world simply deferred, differed from ours and eventually reached an impasse. I would even say we were fortunate that Russia and Scandinavia were the first lost belts we encountered. Why, you ask? Because the people who dwelled there were friendly to us, of course. That alone has been a tremendous boon to our efforts, but we cannot expect that good fortune to continue. It is quite possible that in the next lost belt we encounter, we will find ourselves up against a... Up against every living thing that inhabits it. We must be wary of such worst-case scenario. <laughs> is it the future that has me depressed? Have you no heart, man? Even I understand what it is we need to do, and that no amount of wringing our hands will change that. I know this is simply a competition for survival, where saving one side inevitably means destroying the other. So, I see no harm in looking back on them a bit. After all, they don't have that luxury now. Mm-hmm. I may be a cold-blooded aristocrat, and the embodiment of 
elitism itself, whatever. But even I can't easily forget that we just wiped an innocent young girl out of existence. Mr. Gordoff. I hate to say it, but he's right. Maybe we shouldn't just get involved with these Lost Belt people, if at all. If it's just going to turn out to be so depressing every time. No, that would be... The coward's way out. That is what you were going to say, isn't it, Sarah? Don't go there, Manuere. Just because it's easier to kill someone you don't know doesn't mean doesn't make it right. That's just avoidance. All you're doing is choosing not to face an unpleasant truth. That's not how war is meant to be fought. You should only fight those you know well. Otherwise, you risk your you risk your moral compass losing its center. Of course, everyone has their own way of facing their responsibility. In Sarah's case, I'd say she's the type to try to get to know her opponent. Uh, whoa. Uh, kind of cut off there. Her opponent as well as possible, so that she never forgets them. So pretending not to see them is actually even harder than facing them directly. Or rather, the price of doing so is your own humanity, huh? Wait, Da Vinci, what are you doing? Don't you need to be operating the border? Or preparing a zero sale? Oh, relax. Now that the Tree of Antinous has been destroyed, the storm wall around this Lost Belt is gone. We won't need to go zero sailing anytime soon. Anyway, last we checked, the Wandering Sea should be somewhere in the North Sea. Far from the coast, so let's just enjoy this road trip until... Oh, great. Great. <laughs> What's with the alarm, Wanduwear? Great. Of course. Why are you asking me? If you don't know, how could you possibly listen to What? What the hell is this? A spatial fault 300 meters up ahead? It's showing up as blue on the map! It's- it's the ocean! We're straight for the ocean! Great. I don't see no ocean, but okay. Um, Mr. Moneywear, I'm not really seeing it, what the big fuss is about. Believe me, I wish I were kidding. Oh crap, I can't hit the brakes in time. Everyone brace for impact! Three, two, one, get ready for a drop! Okay, we landed in the water. Oh, wow, oh, oh. making back. It hasn't hurt this bad since my brakes failed on that hill. What's going on here, Moody? That felt like at least a 10 meter drop. Um... Director? Not now, girl. Hurry and sit down before another impact throws us for. The uh, window. Look out the window. Are we in the ocean? Out the window? What are you talking about? Oh, joy. That's not fun. Hopefully this thing is airtight. Did, did, did we dive into a whole other world when I wasn't looking? It was in the clear skies as far as the eye could see just a moment ago. Technical advisor, Da Vinci. J -j just to be sure, the border can navigate over the sea just as well as it can avoid sea, right? You did design for every conceivable scenario, didn't you? A stormy sea should be nothing compared to void space, right? While we're on the subject, I have something of an announcement to make. I can't swim. Okay, look, Gordy. Traveling through void space and traveling through real water are completely different. Tasks that require completely different functionality. The border might be able to get through the Strait of Dover, but it was not designed to weather this. Now I've got an announcement of my own. I estimate the border has about an hour. Oh, we're fucked. So back to help and get us back on land. Now, Manuere, come on, hurry! Once we reach the coast, we can waterproof the border better and wait until the storm dies down. Yeah, just one problem. There's no land to go back to. We're smack in the middle of the North Sea. We're fucked. Then, does that mean we're all going to eat up fish food? <laughs> da Vinci, can, you, can we still initiate a re-zero, a, a re-zero, a zero sale here? Surely that must be preferable to sinking to our deaths. We can't. The formulas won't be stable enough on water. We'll have to, we'd have to rewrite the software from scratch. We're gonna die. Ah, oh, damn it! We must be leaking somewhere. 
Hello, Tom and Lin. Are you in the kitchen right now? Check the source room quickly. I think we got a leak in there. Tell the rest of the staff too. Well, shit. Guys, there's no easy way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. Now, don't freak out on me, but it's looking like we're all gonna die. <laughs> And just when we proved we were badass enough to defeat Ivan the Terrible and Skahawk the Goddess too. <laughs> no. Uh. Oh crap, take it easy, Mash. Don't freak out on us, okay? You know, I feel like a spot of breakfast. I think I'll go for... Whatever, I don't care. Fofo! Hang on, we're getting a call. Go ahead and open the line, Mr. Mindaware. And hurry, Da Vinci's no use to us right now. Right, on it! CQ, CQ, this is the Wandering Seas dock. Do you read me? That vessel. That could be Caldea's Kaldean, ship, right? No, wait, not a ship. Oh, I see, a tank! Rational, yes, very rational. A ship is unnecessary for a zero sail. But I, but I say, you have no sense for design. It might as well be a large metal coffin... Nothing charming there at all. Be honest. You wouldn't have never you would never would have made it back without any my paper moon, would you? Who the fuck is talking? Still, a fine job making it all the way here. Everything's proceeding within my calculations. Who is talking? It's coming from the wandering sea. But where? Where? Right in front of you. Oh hang on. Let me clear out the fog. It should be easier to see then. Proceed on your current course, though you may want to reduce your speed. And be sure to give thanks. Alright. So for the first time in over 2,000 years that this island has revealed itself on a day other than December 31st. What the fuck is happening? Who are you? Okay. An island? And it was this close all along, but I'm still not seeing anything on the radar. Radar. So it would seem. This is... This is a folklore defense. An imaginary world of fairies, where fantasy is made manifest. A world that stands apart from our own. In the modern day, it's a mystic among mystics, said to be only possessed by ploy kickshaws. Oh, said the voice of, of a professor type on the same level as, I, as me, I hear. Well, that is a welcome development. We will get along just fine. Welcome to the Primordial Magecraft Workshop, the Ball Danders of the Wandering Sea. My name is Sion. Sion Ethnam Socrates. I'm a spiritual hacker who escaped to the Wandering Sea when I predicted the, that the world was about to end. I've been waiting for you. Being the Atlas Institute's last remaining member, the Wandering Sea higher ups entrust me with the project of writing this bleach, bleached earth problem. Okay, hi. Nice to meet you? Question mark? And that's definitely the end. Till next Lost Belt. Well, at least I know we're not gonna die in the sea. <laughs> that's good, but what the freaky fruit? Well, awesome. Good to know. Well, that was our Lost Belt. <laughs> we did it, and we got a reward. Ugh, there she is, Gerda. Oh, she looks so pretty. What does it say? Um... I didn't understand what we were talking about, so I didn't. I think it's wonderful to grow old and do anything. But the ice sprays me. You can imagine that the salt in me. The image. This image is a. This is. This is an image of a dream, a world that will never be seen. So envisioned. The sight of this girl, slightly older than before, surrounded by all. But that was that lost belt. And I'll take that. Get all of them. <sighs> Thank you, Mash. Next, Lost Belt, number three. The Synchronized Intellect Nation, Sin. Well, until next time, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in another Let's Play video I do next is, okay? Bye!